Starting next month, every Gaston County student will soon be back to nearly a full week of in person instruction. The school board voted unanimously last night to have middle and high school students return to four days a week of in person instruction. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner has more from parents who have mixed feelings about the return to classrooms. April 12th will be the day when Gaston County's middle and high schools will be returning to four days a week of full in person instruction. While well, Gaston County itself has had wide community spread of COVID-19, Duke University's Dr. Danny Benjamin says there have been only a few instances of the virus spreading within classrooms and no cases involving a child transmitting the virus to a school worker. I'm fully confident that the Gaston has the potential to be successful. But he says to continue being successful after returning to four days in person, everyone must continue wearing masks. There won't be as much social distancing in certain situations. Superintendent Dr. Jeffrey Booker says some high schools will have 30 students to a classroom. He shared an example of this Forest View classroom back in August. So what will it mean is that this yellow tape that you see will disappear and these classrooms will now be full of students. Will Newman's 16 year old son has been doing well with two days in person, three days online. Newman questions the point of changing back. You know, we were all comfortable with the two days uh, in to change it now with such a short period of time left. The vaccines are ongoing. Hunter Huss parent Jonathan Abernathy isn't a fan of online learning, but he also questions the timing of this. Get him back in a rhythm next year. Yeah, but so late in the year to get him back in a rhythm now. The school board also gave Dr. Booker the power to close individual schools or classrooms in the case of large COVID-19 exposure. In Gastonia, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte.